subscribe to my page and I want to thank everybody who has watched all my videos so far and have subscribed. I'm trying to build a community and it's all about you. So let's jump into this. Chiefs resign Car Kendrick West. That's right. They went back to the old ways. I think it's a good idea. Listen, if you watched this this week's game against Oakland, you saw that Patrick Mahomes didn't play, in my opinion, his best game. Should have been intercepted a couple times, this and that. I feel almost like the, the absence of Kareem Hunt made Patrick Mahomes feel uncomfortable. You got to understand, when you're a team that's running the run-pass op option, you need that back back there that you can rely on, right? I'm going to tell you something. Watching the game this week, when Spencer Ware dropped the ball the first time, but he got it back, that's what made me nervous. You Chiefs fans, you guys know, we got so used to Kareem Hunt. I mean, this man hasn't fumbled since the first time he touched the ball, and ever since then, he's never dropped the ball again. So that's one thing that you, that I'm paying attention. I'm like, man, I got so used to uh, Kareem not dropping the ball. But let's jump back to, back to Car Kendrick. I think it's a good move. For a lot of you people that don't remember, or if you just jumped on the bandwagon, Car Kendrick stepped in when Jamal Charles went down the second time. So when he hurt his other leg and he was out for that whole season, trying to come, whatever, Car Kendrick West played. He shared the load with Spencer Ware. Okay, Spencer Ware was then got hurt. He was out for that whole year. That's when Kareem Hunt stepped in, and then we went to him. We released Car Kendrick West earlier this year. Uh, I want to say like the third or fourth week of preseason, right? So then he was picked up by the Jets. That only lasted, like, I want to say two weeks, if that, and they let him go. So people are looking at it. You know, the one thing that I, I love reading comments and people are like, let's get, let's get Jamal Charles, bring him back. Listen, if you're one of those people, just turn the TV off. Turn this video off too because you'll probably be offended. We don't need Derek Johnson back. He's old. We love him. Yes, we support him. Yes, but he it's done. He got cut from a team that he was playing for by the Raiders at that. I mean, this he got cut by the Raiders. Why would you want him back on our roster? Our defense is already bad enough. We don't need to add more levels to that defense. Anyways, people are saying Jamal Tar. Why would you ever say that? He's old now. He had three good seasons with the Chiefs. If that, you can say two and a half. He's got two bad knees. I mean, you guys, you guys got to drop the loyalty and go, hey, I want a Super Bowl. I, I give two fucks who's with us to the end. Kareem Hunt's gone. I do not give a shit anymore. He's done. Bye. I don't care. Once you're gone, you're gone. I've always felt that way. I would rather my team get rings than fucking be loyal, man. A lot of you, a lot of you fanboys are out here acting like little girls, man. You just this and that. This shit happens in sports. People fuck up and they get cut. Bye. We move on. That's what we do, but we don't go backwards. The only reason why we why signing Karump, Kareem or Karkendrick West is a good deal is because he's excellent for the run-pass option. Perfect. He can run the ball. We're not talking big gains like Kareem Hunt. He can't run over you. He's smaller. But he, in open field, he's fast. He's about the same speed as Kareem, right? Just not the power. And he's an excellent receiver. If you guys remember the Charger game, he always had good games against the Chargers. He, he was always that option. So I believe it will make Patrick Mahomes feel comfortable again. And I think that's what we need. So that's all I got to say about the Car Kendrick West. Please subscribe to my videos. Like I said, I'm going to keep dropping them. You guys are going to see it go wild. I'm trying to build my community. And once again, I can't do it without you guys. I love talking sports. This is what I do. I'm not your average fan. I'm a real fan. So when my team does shitty, I, I, I say they do shitty. I'm not going to sit here and I don't come up with excuses. A bad game's a bad game. So watch me, man. Please subscribe to my videos. Like I said, I'm going to keep them coming. I'm going to keep them pouring. I finally got that confidence you guys have gave it to me. The comments have been anything but positive, and I appreciate it. And I love every single one of you guys that have taken the time to watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. You don't know how much it means to me. So with that being said, go Chiefs.